Most cameras have an AEL button or this option in the menu. So what does it mean? First off, I just have to describe how the exposure system works in your camera. You have to be in one of the semi-automatic or automatic modes. It will continuously adjust the settings to keep what it thinks is a good exposure. As an example, I have the camera in aperture priority, and as I move it up and away from the window, there are less bright pixels in the frame. So the camera will adjust the exposure by changing the shutter speed automatically. If I was in shutter priority, it would automatically adjust the aperture. Or if I set ISO to auto, it would change that if needed. Now AEL stands for Auto Exposure Lock, and it does exactly that. It locks the automatic exposure. I have it set to the AEL button, which is a fully customizable button. When I press this, it locks the exposure at the point where I press it. So now with it pressed, when I move the camera up, the exposure stays locked until I release it. So you can use this to lock on an exposure that you like. Say for instance, if I took a shot and it was underexposed, what I'd do is point the camera at a darker framing, press the AEL button, and then bring it back to my original composition, then take the shot. This should then bring the exposure up. If the shot looks overexposed, what you can do is point it at a brighter part, press the AEL button, and then bring it back to that original composition. This should bring the exposure down and then lock it as you press that button. You keep the button held until you take your shot. It's basically just another way of manipulating your exposure to get it to where you want it to. Once you get used to it, it's a really fast way of locking in your exposure. You also have the exposure compensation dial. If you don't know what that is and you want to learn about it, click on the eye in the corner. And that's about it. The best way to learn about these different settings is to watch my videos, learn about a certain setting, and then go out and try it for yourself with your own camera. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications. And also head over to my channel where I have lots of different photography tutorials. I'll see you next time.